Hey, what is going on you guys? It's Alondra Loingas from AL Squared and today we're going to go on a little journey of how I create my artwork. So the cool thing about what I'm doing right now is that whatever design I do create, you guys will see, um, we're gonna put it on our art shop AL Squared. So you guys will be part of the process. You will see how these ideas emerge and how they become. Okay, so right now we're here at my computer table. Why is this wet? Ew. Let's start off with the brainstorming. So I have no idea what I'm gonna make right now. I didn't come up with something pre-planned. I just said, let me record the process. And this is the process, guys. I don't always have something at the top of my head. So let's just start writing words, whatever comes to mind. So let's say, okay, right now my cat has a zoomie. Let's write cat, pizza, pizza cat, pizza. Uh, let's see. See right now it's very stale. It's very what I see, what's in front of me. And that's okay, that's the point of brainstorming. You first start with the worst ideas and as you keep brainstorming, your ideas get a little more creative and then your drawing or your image can become a story within the actual image. Let's do glasses. I see my glasses right there. Glasses, coffee, rain, raincoat. Let's do puddles, storm, river. Ooh, I just got an idea right now because I said river. Tubing, tubing. If you're in Texas, you know tubing. So let's do tubing. See, okay, so now I kind of got a spark. So what I'm thinking right now is a cat tubing eating with sunglasses. Okay, so write that down. A cat tubing down the river, tubing, wearing sunglasses, eating pizza. So right now I have the idea of a cat tubing, wearing sunglasses, eating pizza. I like that idea. I think that is a very creative idea. I have not seen that before. Boom, boom, boom. It went from cat to tubing. So a cat tubing with sunglasses eating pizza. Obviously that's not a real sentence, but you get the gist of it. All right, so let's move on to my sketchbook. We have my sketchbook here and we're going to start sketching out the idea. Your first ideas are always going to be the least creative ones. So that's fine. Don't try to be perfect about your ideas. Just go with the flow of your brain and then you will find a way to make the drawing work. You know what I mean? So actually, before I start to draw, I'm going to use Goggle. Shout out to my boyfriend on his YouTube channel. Before I start, I want to look at some references, get some ideas, get some inspiration. Tubing in Texas. So we're going to Google that. Something fun, some cool poses, some cool scenery. So we're going to try to emulate that vibe. So for the details, I would actually rather draw them on the actual computer because it's a lot easier to erase, it's a lot quicker to erase, it's a lot quicker to make changes, and you don't have to compromise your sketch. This is the first idea. It was a little, a little basic, a little like what you think about the top of your head for river tubing or whatever it's called. First ideas are not always the best ideas. And there's this one when he's like posing, his little booty cheeks are showing in the sun. And then there's this one where he's just standing. But like I said, that's also stagnant. So we'll see. So I'm gonna be working with all three of these designs. I'm going to detail them and I will show you guys when I'm done and then we're gonna go and put them into the computer and digitize them. Let me show you guys where I left off. Your first ideas are not always the best. Like you're gonna be lucky if you really do love your first idea. I don't always recommend going with the first idea. Here was the first idea. I shaded it now and it's all cute and dandy. There he is enjoying a pizza and tubing down the river. You can't see the river, but <laughs> you know what I mean. And then here's a second option. Honestly, this is my least favorite now. 
I thought it would be really funny, but it just doesn't really translate very well. <laughs> and then this is the one that I was working on when my camera died. The issue, I mean, I like the bikini. I think it was kind of cute. He has a snorkeling little gear on him, but he also has a floaty on. So I'm just like, that doesn't really make sense. How can you snorkel with a floaty on? So that idea, it's cute, but it doesn't make sense. Either way, there's no such thing as cats tubing eating pizza. Okay, with that being said, I like my next one better. Let me show you guys. So this one, I just sketched it out. It doesn't have any pen work or shading, but here it is. This is the drawing, the sketch, and I really, really, really like this one. There's my cute cat. He's just watching me talk to the camera. Hi! So yeah, this is the idea that I'm working with right now. Unlike this one who was snorkeling, this cat is now scuba diving. And my idea was just to have him scuba diving underwater, but then I was like, it would be really funny if he was riding a dolphin. I was gonna put a shark, but I feel like dolphins are a little more welcoming, so I'm definitely going with the dolphin. So tomorrow when I receive my Wacom, that's the first thing that I'm gonna do, the first drawing that I'm gonna do, which would be the snorkeling cat i'm sorry the scuba diving cat i'll pick right back up here with you guys tomorrow when i get the whack'em and i'll see you then there he is what a little cutie patootie i have the base colors in and i'm barely starting on the shadows So this is what I have so far. So I'm doing the shading right now. I just added the little color to his paws and his tail, kind of like how he is now. Dorito. Hey, amor. Hey, puppy. Hey, my little cutie. So right here we have the layers. You can see all the little layers. So I have my outline on top. If I take it off, that's what it looks like. And this is what I was just working on right now, the little little brown parts. So if I take it off, it takes off the darker brown. And then if I take this one off, let's remove this, take that off. And then I did add some color, you can see some purple, some purple shades in the dolphin. So if I take that off, it becomes that flat color. Let's take off the highlights. No highlights, highlights, no highlights, highlights, oh. highlights. And then let's take off the low lights, boom. So we're left with the flat color and let's take off the color and we're left with the just the outline. So that is my process for making art. I do the flats, I do the low lights, I do the highlights, and then I start to add a little more detail with the color. But this is it for now. Let's continue on with adding the little details and the texture and the, I want to say the little shiny parts. So yeah, let's add a new layer and continue on.
as beautiful. All right, guys, so I'm finally done with the drawing, as you guys can see. And all that's left for us to do is upload it onto our website, and then it'll be available for purchase. Yay, aren't you excited, little kitty witty? Hey, Torito. You have your own shirt. Can you believe it? You're on a shirt design. Can you believe it? Isn't that freaking awesome, Torito? Aren't you happy, mi amor? You're on a t-shirt. So yeah, um, our design with Torito in it, he's gonna be scuba diving. That was the journey of creating artwork for Ale Squared. Thank you guys for joining me on this little journey of making artwork. It's a process to create artwork that we put on our website. Um, if you guys would like to check out our website, that design will be available very soon, if not already. You guys have been a part of it and I'm excited! More art to come soon! Yeah, so check out our website because our little scuba bros featuring Torito the cat will be on our channel. On our channel. Will be on our website pretty soon. So check it out and thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. Say goodbye, Torito.